I wanted to show some quilts that I'm working on these days. I've actually got, I think, five in production right now and three finished ones to show, not counting about 20 that are in storage. Now this one, this quilt is made from fabric left over from a special person's um, swatches from clothing that she had made. Uh, this was Mara, the closest disciple to my spiritual master, Avatar Mahababa. And um, she had her clothes made by tailors as they do in India rather than Starbuck. So um, the other women disciples of Mayor Baba found out I did quilting and they gave me the leftover scraps left over from all her clothing that had been made over the years. Uh, for many years, I couldn't find a pattern that suited her uh, because most quilts are patchwork, which means that they have diagonal, uh, square, straight lines. And I just felt that she was too feminine for that. So for many years, I was stumped until I got the idea to do applique quilt where I can have these nice curvy shapes of roses. Uh, she grew roses in her garden uh, to put in front of Mayor Baba's photographs after he passed away. So you can see these are all pieces of her um, fabric from her clothing that the tailors made over the years. Um, these are not colors that I would have chosen for a quilt if I was designing it without her in mind. Uh, she, I always thought of her as wearing very uh, muted, dusty colors, especially moss green and dusty rose and mauve. Um, so this is going to be the outer 12 inches of border around the central rose garden here. I'll show you, we can actually identify some of the fabrics that she wore from some of her photographs in the book. She was very, very beautiful. Beautiful face. Um, I thought of her as wearing dusty colors and she was like the greenery around Baba, him being the rose, so that uh, he shone bright and she complimented him by wearing these dusty colors. Okay, so that's the Mara quilt that I'm working on, enjoying very much. Um, this is a special quilt. I've never seen one quite like it. I was inspired by a um, Victorian French art form of ribbon embroidery. So this is all silk ribbons, silk ribbon knots, lily of the valley. Um, and the background cloth is also silk and the underneath backing will be silk. I think of this quilt as being suitable for an elegant queen. Uh, over here, we can look at one I'm having fun with. This is, um, I'm calling this the uh, cherries and cream quilt. So I have lots of fabric with cherries printed on it and a lot of pink for the cherries and a lot of, uh, I love to use uh, unbleached muslin for the cream color. It will have about a 12 inch pink border all around it. And um, I'm trying to find a unsuitable green for a little border edge in there. I like this green, where is it? Here, if I can find some fabric, that color. This up here, the moss green is too drab and this electric green is too intense. It steals the show, I'm not happy with either. Um, you can see with this color chart, uh, quilters can choose their right color 
and then order a swatch of fabric before committing to several yards of it. So I'm going to need to choose one of those greens there. Um, let's see, what else have we got? I like to display my quilts near my television so that I can study them while I'm watching TV at night and figure out what I might need to do to change the designs. This quilt here, uh, it's based on a early American design called the pineapple quilt. I guess it has kind of a pineapple shape if you don't do it too long, but I'm gonna make these long black and ivory stripes that go all the way down the length of the bed. I think that one has a very masculine um, cabin, snow cabin feel to it. I love it very much. Uh, this one is going to be a springtime quilt with the moss green here uh, complemented with pinks and a little bit of black and white to set it off. And then all these prints of flowers. So I'm really looking forward to that nice light springtime quilt. Okay, that's five quilts that I'm working on in process at the moment. Now let's look at some that have finished recently. This is the wintertime quilt, same pattern as the spring quilt, but different colors. This one has um, a combination, a very odd combination, but it suits me, of Halloween prints and Halloween colors mixed in with Christmas prints and Christmas colors. So it has a uh, autumn and winter feel to it with all of those fabrics that are Halloween and Christmas and a blood red background that I really like in the bedroom. It's a nice warm winter tone color. This one here is kind of a crazy quilt. It's crazy happy, crazy, crazy happy. I can't look at it too much. Only if I'm in a very lively mood, I guess. Lots of polka dots, kind of a pinwheel pattern. And the last one that I have in the house at the moment, this isn't counting about 20 that I have in storage. This is the um, little boy's quilt with Scotty dogs with rose green ribbons around each Scotty dog. This one has a lot of unbleached muslin border. I am crazy about unbleached muslin. Um, the structural look it has, like it's not polished. It's like something still under construction. Which suits my taste very much. Okay. That's the quilts that are in the house at the moment. Talk to you guys later.